Well, robots can pretty much do anything humans can do now, and this group of teens knows all the right buttons to push. It's why they're the state robotics champions, and it's why Hartfield Academy is this week's cool school. Meet Dalton. He's a robot of many talents, sweeping, dumping, and even seeing. You know, pretty much the only team that actually really used a webcam um, hmm. this year. So we're kind of proud of that fact that yes. we were able to make it work. We worked on that sweeper for a long time and spent a lot of hours doing it, but the rubber bands was one of the hardest parts to, you know, get just right because they had to be put on exactly. It took the robotics team at Hartfield Academy about two weeks to build Dalton, but not before making plenty of cardboard prototypes. After construction, Construction comes the most important part, the coding. Henry, well, the team's master right. coder, inputs the best mixture of characters, and the drivers have about three <laughs> minutes to make sure Dalton completes a series of tasks. We have there will be two drivers, one controlling the motion of the bottom, the base of the robot, the wheels and everything like that. So they'll control which direction the robot goes. And then the other controller, the other driver, they'll control the lifting and the sweeping, and they'll also control the dumper going up and down and putting it into the lander. You would think all of these students are outstanding at math and science, but that's not the case. There's a job for every skill on the robotics team. My best subject isn't math. <laughs> it's English, so um, it's a lot of problem solving. Yes, lots of problem solving, and the robotics team is one of two teams from Mississippi headed to the World Championship in April. That will be held in Houston, Texas. Andrew. Oh, I'll pull it for Hartfield Academy. Thank you so much.